everybody. This is Carlos and Sandy Lee. This is season two of Off Your Flosser Podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, be a friend, listen to Oif. Thank you so much, and go floss yourselves. Flow floss yourselves. What's up now, bra? We are live. Yeah. All right. What's up, Sandy? <laughs> oh, nothing. Like, literally nothing. I know. It's... <laughs> All right, so we're going to make this an episode? A no. A wellness check. We're just making sure we're still alive and, yeah. and not drowning in ice cream and stuff. Well, I, that's hard to do because we ate all the ice cream oh, last couple oh, of days. Oh, I didn't. So. I got plenty in the freezer. Really? <laughs> I heard the Corona's coming. I got to have my ice cream. You know? Your, <laughs> I mean, it's the non-dairy. Yeah, your Spumoni. So. The, the imaginary no, ice cream any. that oh, doesn't exist. I wish I did. Now you just broke my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, never mind. I forget what I was wow. going to say. Wow. Yeah. Your yeah. shirt term oh, memories you... going to hell. Instagram. Yeah. What's that? This morning. Our Instagram this morning, what I posted. I didn't see it. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I, I put quarantine, quarantine me, be like, and then I, I, I said my hubby's saying, aren't you going to finish anything around here? And then me holding like a half empty carton of ice cream. I'm about to finish this. Yep. <laughs> oh. Hashtag accomplished. No. <laughs> there you go. Life goals. Uh, but anyway, yeah. so um, <laughs> I had to get a new computer. This is a yeah, whole it, setup. Yeah. How come you? How, how come you had to get a new computer? Um, because I spilled coffee all over the. <laughs> oh, Your favorite dude. thing in the world just oh stabbed God. you in the heart. Heart and then and then kind of punched me in the face. You know, As yeah. I'm laying there dying, and it punched it, me in the face. Yeah. And then <laughs> oh, and then peed on me a little bit. I mean, it was horrible. Yeah, dude. it probably yeah. did. Ugh. Ugh, left stains on your clothes. I, I moved. Um, I, I I tapped it. I was trying to. Well, the thing was, I was trying to figure out how to use the mouse with the iPad. Yeah. Apple just oh, dropped yeah. the thing, and I figured it out, right? So I'm real excited. Yeah. I'm like, hey, this would be a good You're backup. Like, Yay! <laughs> and as I'm coming back across, click, and it, you just see it sort of like tidal wave all over the keyboard in slow motion, and I just uh. – And I kind of just froze for a second, and then I was like, okay, well, uh, uh, what do I do first? And anyway, it was too late. It was. It was Were shot. you like, is this real life? <sighs> and then co- coffee's coming out of the keyboards. It was horrible, dude. Ugh, Seriously, I like I, I, I was, I was like emotionally hurt a little bit. Like I was just like sad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I, your I, coffee just beat you in the face. And I was in the middle of editing <laughs> uh, episode seventy-five. Yeah. I finished it on the iPad though. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know how. But we know, got it done. It. Yeah. So God was looking out for you. Bro. Thank you. Thank you, JC. You know. Appreciate it. Nobody needs like to. Mm, I don't know. Um, Dab. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you holding up with this corona? Or my COVID nineteen is what they're calling corona. it. You notice people um, I calling think I'm it COVID nineteen okay. now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty well known. Where you been? I'm saying you don't hear Corona much anymore, but you know oh, it was interchangeable before, corona. but now it's all COVID. Oh well, I guess Corona is a generic name for a type of virus that has the crown-like look to it. I don't know. I, I heard to make another wave in the fall so i'm i'm like okay so what is that gonna do for uh smile to see dental mental summit like wait a minute you heard you know what, what i'm saying that, that it's gonna make have... another wave in the fall dude yeah i'm hoping they'll have a vaccine did you see that uh the newspaper where kobe bryant um was killed in a helicopter crash and the big column next to it says that the experts, whoever, whatever, are scrambling to make a uh, vaccine for COVID, uh, for the coronavirus. Right. So, and that was back in when January. 
Uh, yeah. But we didn't really hear mainstream about Corona until, I don't know, what, mid-February or something? I think it was a little downplayed in the beginning because who would have thought we'd be here right now? Right. You know what I mean? I don't know if there's anything you can do to, uh, to that you could have done differently. Not to get political, no, I don't know. but short of just uh, I mean, right, everybody have... just shut down, there's nothing you can do. Right. But then people would be like, oh, well, that's overkill. And then we would have stopped it and then it'd be like, see, see, you didn't have to do all that. But now we're like, well, why didn't you? So it's just one thing. You, you and can't then, win one way or another. Damned you if know? you do and damned if you don't. So. I know. Yeah, I think to support our people and, and hopefully we can snap this corona in half. Mm. You know? Snap yeah. it. I don't know if crime's yeah, going no up, idea. but I saw a thing the where country. they were talking about hundreds of police officers in New Jersey mm-hmm. were exposed, so now they're on quarantine. Oh, yeah. So my too, point yeah. is, if they're not on the roads, on the streets, now's the time to patrol, speed. You know, dude, I, I, I do crazy 80. out in the streets. I do eighty everywhere. Why? Like yeah. seriously, why wouldn't you? You know that <laughs> domino are no rules and the kid starts taking off his shirt that's like what we are right now we're a domino's i hope it, i hope it doesn't get that bad dude because because people are borderline wild on a regular basis yeah i can yeah. imagine i posted a joke oh my gosh i posted a joke in another hygiene group and oh people were pissed and i'm like oh my gosh what'd you say like it was hilarious i read it somebody else played it on me and I like just died laughing. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to share this. It was, Hey guys, check this out. If you were wondering like, what's the status of your stimulus check, call this 1-800 number, give them the four last digits of your social security number or your pin number, blah, blah, blah. And then it gave this 1-800 number. Well, so when I first saw it, I was like, this is probably an April Fool's joke, but let's just see where this phone number goes. And it's a sex, uh, a phone sex hotline. And people is that are mad at hilarious? That? Yes. Dude, don't give them your last four. I know. And, and shrug it I off. Know. You got caught. No, you don't even get the opportunity to, to do anything with a pin number or no, nothing. It just says, mm, hi, thanks for calling. We're like the number one phone sex line in the world. I don't even know what it said, but. That's, that's kind of lame, but you know, like that, that exists. But hilarious. But hilarious at the same time. I mean. Yes. And I got so I kind of wish I thought of it. it. Oh, but I put it in another hygiene group and some, guess what her name was, by the way? Karen. Close. Anyway. But yeah, when so it, you're she not was saying. the first one to flip out a little bit. Oh, it was a Debbie. It was a Debbie. Somebody else took a screenshot of my post and then reposted it and said, you should be kicked out. You're so unprofessional. That's horrible. And I was just like, um is this an april fool's joke like calling me out like that over a joke so anyway i got a laugh out of it you know mad because you called at work she's got things to do we gotta talk about the the tiger in the room the freaking tiger king literally (laughs) oh my gosh this sounds like this is turning into an episode but i don't want it to turn into a full episode because i'm not like we don't have a good audio. And our, and our audio is, is trash right now because someone's. Yeah. So can we save the tiger talk? Because okay. that, I believe, will be a very long conversation. Okay. No, no, no. All right, all right. Oh, we were going to go live and have people like in the conversation. Yeah, but we with can't even do the, the stupid team. be live thing. Stupid. Be live. You need to get your ish together. Dude, what? how did we do it last time? And what. Well, the I think flip is the difference because it's it's. I think they're just getting bombarded because everybody is using video conferencing right now. So my internet is super slow, and I feel like it's because everybody's on the internet because they're stuck at home all day. 
and I feel like everybody's using the video conferencing. So yeah. the apps or the websites, right. they're just getting bombarded. Right. I right, mean, right. why don't we try it like midnight or something one night and see if, um, if it's a matter of um, traffic. Just, just wavelength. Because I'm sure everybody and their mom is ordering pizza. Dude, you know, we sure. got out back to what go the other day. Yeah. You're still eating at restaurants? Yeah. Dang. There's a restaurant here. Eight people. Roll that dice, son. Positive. What? I ain't rolling nothing except my own sushi tortillas. at home or something. Right. Yeah. Tortillas. <laughs> but Yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't eat out? Oh, I'm not eating out. I haven't even been out of the house. I went out once in the last two weeks. Now I'm going to the pet store right now. You're the person that my, my profile picture is talking about. No, I don't go in. Oh. I got curbside. Oh. Uh, but still, I ain't going nowhere. Dude, you got to get what's, out of the house. What's essential at the pet store? Oh, are you getting like food or something? Dog, dog treats. Treats. No, it's dog food. But we will oh, also okay. ordered some treats over there. Okay. Well, okay. That I get. That's essential. Yeah, you need they got to eat your dog something. And stuff. But if you're going because Coco needs a chew toy. No, they got Coco can all chew your thumb. Like the picture. That was Snickers, and it was cute. <laughs> Snickers, Butterball, Butterfinger, I don't know. <laughs> all those candy dogs. <laughs> uh, all, all those sweet candy names. All right. Yeah. So is this Aww. good? Is this good, for, is this good for a test? Oh, yeah. This is good. Oh, the, the last thing was YouTube. Have you seen that Zoom meeting where the, the lady, her name is Jennifer... <sighs> She started going to the bathroom. Yeah, so we she's like walking around. You can see her. We did? Yeah. Mm. All right, cool. I I'm guess sorry. that's it then. I didn't mean to steal your thunder, but. She pulled her pants down in front of her coworkers. Sometimes you got that to, bro. That was like my dream. So... One of these days, <laughs> you fire me. Yeah. My ass is coming out. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. So I'm burn, I'm All right. Burn yeah, this is good. Out, you know? All right, all right, cool. So this is a good test. <laughs> Full moon up in here. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to just play you it. Can, you can edit, throw it up on the tubes, YouTubes. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All right, cool. Why not? So I definitely want to talk about the Tiger yeah. King. I wonder how bad the audio is this this with this. <laughs> pretty bad. It's pretty tight. It probably is. Yeah. All right. Um, well, all right. I'll get my uh, setup going so you guys have a better backdrop. Okay. My under the sea bubbles or whatever it is. I know. Cool. It almost looks like it's out of focus. It's like, is it my eyes or is the thing purposely kind of shimmery and yeah, it's like a dream right. sequence. Yeah. You want to hear? You know, like a yeah, like a beer, <laughs> like a beaded curtain. Remember those? Yeah, seventies. Yeah, style. I I, I I I my aunt lived in one. We'd go. She had the the beaded curtains, dude. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I it's bet just, you it's going to come back, too. Anyway. It needs to come back. <laughs> so that way you sort of get privacy, but not really, you know? Right. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah. Let's just, let's just pick this up back up in the, in the studio. You want to take in this the studio, there? studio, dude. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. All right. I'll catch you in the studio. Bye, Carlos. Bye. Later. All right. Woo. Woo. I'm here. Here. Sorry. Took me longer to get changed than I thought. So <laughs> what's up, Carlos? You didn't just long time. No, see, I thought you were just going to run downstairs. What no, happened? I had to change and stuff. So you, you, <laughs> you take a nap. I got busy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> got a little busy. <laughs> mm. All right. So, so. All right, so let's let's finish this because it, it turned into an episode. So we're just gonna finish it yes. now. Okay? Yes. It, which is what seventy six. Yes. That that didn't sound confident whatsoever. Not at all. I'm trusting you, man. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, big mistake. Big mistake Probably. on your part. Hey, guess what, dude? <laughs> guess what? I'm I'm recording this on right now. A microphone. No. <laughs>
<laughs> no, man. Uh, I I had to get a new laptop. <sighs> dun dun dun. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. you're liking it. Yeah. Well, we just talked that about that a minute ago, but just a minute ago. Yeah. Um. L- literally. A minute or two ago. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. No. This thing's pretty badass, dude. It's um. But I, I saw some reviews on, on the YouTubes, and I, I'm gonna kill my one of my dogs too. Do, do you hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll probably hear some of mine, too. So, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, that's real life. Hashtag quarantine life. That's right. Um, I I, I think they just implemented a um a curfew. Oh, for Atlanta? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's not that crazy around here but i'm sure one day it will they they shut down the parks in st louis right because guess what people are like oh i don't want to be stuck at home all day let's go to the park well guess what there's 50 other people at the park yeah uh that doesn't work there's one maybe half a mile away (sighs) i wanted to go for a walk but i drove past it parking lot's full i'm like i'm not going anywhere near the park that's so dumb like what part of stay at home don't you understand? I think people are part of it's I don't know if it's just not doing smart things or is it or is it people being selfish? That's the nicest way Pro- to call it's people probably stupid. a healthy healthy mix of both. Yeah. Like seriously, I've been in my house for the past two weeks. I took my dogs to the vet. Uh, last Friday, and that was the only time I've been out. So John's still working, so he picks up things, uh, like if we need uh, food or whatever. Sure. So I literally have not left this house except um, just that one time. Wow. Ours I'll go is... outside. Like, I, I haven't even left my yard. I walked down to the mailbox. That was my outing for the day. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have gone that far. No. It's corona all up, the, up in that. <laughs> I picked up the dog food, but they bring it out to your car. They don't want you in the building. Right, the curbside, yeah. Yeah, so everything's curbside yeah. down. Do they give it to you with one of those gophers, those you to pick stuff up, you know, like the little um, claw things? No, I was hoping they would, or maybe like a like a steel hook. Or a broomstick at least, yeah. like nunchucks, something. No, no, the dude carried it out and, and put it in my trunk, so. And sneezed on it first? I think he licked the bag, which is kind of gross. Probably. But. Yeah, well. Hand sanitizer, so a couple pumps, good to go. Oh, yeah. You know? I had a, the, I order my dog food off of Amazon, and uh, they dropped it off. Mm. Well, I went out there with gloves on, and uh, I pushed it out into the sun, because, like, UV and stuff. And then I went out there like an hour later and I rotated it. So, and now it, it's still sitting in the garage because, you know, three days or whatever, it can sit on cardboard. Dude, you're not but playing. then my coffee, my coffee came in today and I was like, yay! And I opened it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but seriously, but... I mean, like, let's talk about essential items. Coffee. Is it essential? I mean, my my butt don't have to go nowhere. So, do I need it? I think if if let's say they ran out of coffee, the the yeah. murder rate is going to go through the roof. Probably. You know, same thing with alcohol. It's going to be like, what's killing more people? COVID nineteen, or lack or, of coffee, or uncaffeinated folks? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because here's the thing, the kids are out from now, out of school, right? So yeah. the school year is over. You know how long the summer is going to be, man. Starting. I mean, April? it's like, isn't there a song or something called "Never Ending Summer"? I don't know, but there should be because this is it. So let's say mid eight, mid March to August here in Atlanta. That's like five months, dude. Parents yeah. are going to be insane. Yeah. Yeah. Then, so okay, maybe coffee and alcohol is essential. And you can't ship them out to to camp. You can't go to camp. Right. You can't go anywhere. No parks. No. You just sit at home. You build forts in the living room, and you you bombard yourself in the bathroom. Stick something under the door so you can't see none of that. 
I mean, and pop some Advil and vodka and, shh, and keep there it you moving. Go. <laughs> I never went to summer camp when I was a kid. Did you? I went to one. Yeah. I had to raise. I I can't remember exactly, but I thought I had to raise my own money to go to that camp. Or somebody gave me a scholarship or something like that. Band camp? Close. It was a choir camp. Wow. It's... And once Katrina um, sends out the video of this project, sure. you guys will see exactly why they said you need to go to camp because you suck. <laughs> and it no, didn't help. No, you were singing it out, man. Yeah, thanks, Carlos. It was only two words, but you sang the hell out of those two words. Yeah, and I fluffed it up a little. <laughs> yeah. I hope people understand that the the shower, um, the, the robe, uh, towel, and, the and yeah. robe were a joke. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, sure. What about you? No, I never went to camp. I um. None. Mm mm. Just got locked in the closet. That was my only. And uh, like Harry Potter. They would throw a wet sponge and in, in a slice of bread, of Wonder Bread. Um, yeah. And it wasn't even like the middle piece. It was like the, the butt end. So it wasn't like a the whole heel. piece. Yeah. 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 And then you suck the water out of the sponge and that was that was lunch, you know? No, yeah. no, I, no that's horrible. None of that ever happened. Um, <laughs> no, I never went to camp, dude. I, uh, You know, we were poor growing up, so. Yeah. The thing is, it's going to be. A long hot summer, so parents are gonna have to get creative, dude. I'm 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 glad I don't have little ones running around because I, I I'm bored. Now I gotta yeah, entertain think, a seven year old. That's, that's impossible. Yeah, I think um, that's one of the silver linings for me right now is uh, not having to entertain, teach besides the dogs. Yeah. Um. You know provide for like if i don't want to eat lunch then i just won't eat lunch right. but who am i kidding though <laughs> like why, why why would you lunch. not eat lunch hello yeah. i know yeah. but yeah. like i just made doggy biscuits okay yeah, uh, yeah. for my dogs how'd that go uh they're in the oven um made out of what oh crap no just kidding oh so john makes beer um so we looked up a uh, john told me about this recipe where you can use the spent grains okay I don't know what you spend them on, but the spent grains, you uh, you combine that with flour, two eggs, um, and then you make this dough out of it. And I used cookie cutters to uh, make these dog biscuits. Nice. So have you made these before? No. So you don't even know if they like them. So. Oh, so here I I made a couple of them a lot thinner, so they got done in the thirty minutes that they're supposed to cook, and then you drop the temperature and you let them cook for two hours, so it gets mm. all the moisture out, so they don't get moldy if you store them. Sure. So, but I took the skinny ones out and uh, tried it right away to see if they liked it, and they did. So it's my, okay. oh, there's peanut butter in it, so there's grains, flour, eggs, peanut butter. They're gonna be pretty nice. I think. If push came to shove, could you eat one? Yes. And it won't hurt you. Yeah. I don't. See no, because it. it's just grain. It's just yeah. regular grains, like. And it could be sweet, but it ain't gonna kill rye you. Rye and. It might not be gluten free. <laughs> probably not. That's actually. You could probably add sugar and eat it yourself. Dude. A handful of raisins. Yeah. I mean, I dropped some of it on the floor, but I was like, eh, it's for a dog. Who cares? I wouldn't do that if I were going to eat it. Yeah, maybe not. Because Max, Max literally licks the tile floor. So I don't have to mop. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, at least, you know, all we have to worry about is just dogs. So when I went to go pick up the dog food a little while ago, not to totally mm -hmm. not yesterday, but... A little while ago. Right. I know it looks like yesterday, but it wasn't. It was literally just seconds ago. Really. Um, yeah. So we ordered, my wife orders these um, fish sticks, which is essentially just, I want to say salmon skin or cod skin. 
Yeah. And they roll it, right, into like these tubes and they dry them. Oh, fish Smel- jerky. Smells horrible. They Ugh. go bananas. They love them things. Oh, they go Ick. crazy. She, she'll go, who wants a fish stick? And they're just like, yo, <laughs> I want a fish stick, mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Give me a damn fish stick. you know. <laughs> and it must taste yeah. delicious because they go bananas. You haven't tried it? No. It's pretty funky, dude. I don't think I'd do that. You know. <laughs> Did you freeze up on me? Oh, froze up. Oh. Hello? Damn, what happened? Oh boy. You're frozen. Did you freeze up? And not like the Sandra. cartoon. Damn Dang it. it. Alright. Well, she's gone. Let's see if she comes back. Okay. I guess my internet sucks. Yeah. Y- y- I didn't stop recording. Neither did I. I was talking. Oh, yeah. It's it's telling me my internet is not working. So I just went to data. You just kind of all right. Uh, anyway, just kind of froze. You did too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um. So where were we? Fish sticks. Kids eating dog food. Oh yeah. We started talking about it uh, a little while ago. Totally not yeah. yesterday about the uh, the Tiger King. Yeah, and I wanted to save it so we'd had plenty of time to focus okay. because this demands our attention. Yeah. So we're probably gonna end, we're gonna ride this out for the rest of the episode. What the hell? <laughs> Just what? <laughs> so. This is this is my levels of watching the Tiger King. I I put off watching it because I'm not real big about hype. Making of a Murderer, it took me a while to go watch it. So here's me watching the Tiger I never King saw it. in different levels. It's crazy too. Yeah. Not this crazy. No. Holy crap. So this is me watching it like <laughs> like I'm sitting there going whatever, whatever, and then I was like Oh, this is cool. I like the tigers. Yeah. He's a little weird. Love the mullet, but okay. Okay. And then I was like, oh, he's gay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, okay. He's going to run for governor. Sure. Fine. And he carries, a, Anybody and he can carries do that. a revolver. On his hip or thigh. But I mean, you work with these big cats. Straight up cowboy Sometimes style. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yes. So Dude. I'm like, oh, this guy's kind of kind of badass in a way, you know. And then, um, and then he has two boyfriends, and I was like, oh, all right. Oh, then he's got meth, and I'm like, we're just kicking off these little check, yeah. you know, the man that I dream of, check mark, yeah, blonde and black mullet, check, meth, check, tigers, check, <laughs> hot body, check, beautiful voice, check. Uh, anyway, <laughs> bullet bullet hole tattoos in the middle of his chest. Yeah. If that doesn't say yeah, hot stuff. I don't know what does. I don't know what Dude, does. That and then is so crazy. <sighs> and then the chick getting her arm ripped off. I was oh. like, dude. So that's like, I'm getting into this and I'm like oh. binging and binging and binging. And I'm like, so now I'm like up here, like, holy crap. And then this Carol, I was like, eh, she's just jealous. Yeah. She's just jealous. And and I was she's like, man, she up. treats his tigers Pe- better than she does. Peanut butter and jealous, dude. Pe- <laughs> just straight up. Yeah. You know? And then and then I was like, dang, he's getting a little out there with the boom when he shoots the blow up doll. And I'm like, man, you know, just sim- simmer down there, Mr. Tiger King. It's hard just to defend. Well, ultimately, the dude's in jail. Yeah. For yeah. attempting to hire somebody. But when you're shooting a doll that represents this Carol chick while doing sexual Jumping things. Jumping over that line. Yeah, it's kind of hard to defend yeah. that, you know? Because why wouldn't you do right. it? You hate her, obviously. But he ain't in it alone. Jeff, his ass should be in jail, too. Which is that one? The guy? And Alan? 
the guy that took over the zoo. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess they set him up, dude. They set him up hard. No, no joke. Not saying he did everything right. No, but twenty-two years by himself. Like if you're gonna give him twenty-two years, then Alan and Jeff they need their butts in jail too. Mm Mm-hmm. And then when when his when his husband took his own life, that was whole. I was like, that was next level stuff. Dude. And it it was it was not on tape, but the guy's reaction you could tell like because he was like, and then he was uh, he was just sitting there like he kind of froze. Yeah, he's like, is this real? Oh, I hope to never see something like that. Never. I don't want to see that, dude. That looks insane. Just watching it on movies, I can't yeah. like I, that gets to me. I saw, mm-hmm. I caught a movie with um, Ryan Reynolds this weekend on Netflix. Oh, did, so, tell him I said hi. I didn't see him. You guys are supposed to be social distancing, though. No, no, no. I, I saw a movie with him on it on Netflix. Oh, he was in the movie. He was in the movie. We don't, I don't know Ryan Because he's Reynolds. my boy. He's my boy. He seems like a super cool dude to hang out with, you know? Yes. Well, in this yes. one, they're playing kind of like mercenaries, and he's a billionaire, and they can do stuff like that. You know they can they have the money to do mercenary. What's type the name stuff. of the movie? Six under under six something like that. Yes, I saw it. Yeah, and it's a movie, so it's, yeah. you know it's not real, but it right. is like crazy graphic, like people getting yeah blown to pieces, arms coming off, heads being sh- you know, the, you know what a flashbang is. <sighs> I've heard it before. Oh, well, basically the cops wait. when they do a raid. No, it, it's not. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking. Um, I was thinking flash mob. It's 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 like a little grenade. Go ahead. Right. Yes. Oh yeah, and, and it really hurts loud, their eyes so they can't. It's super bright. It disorients them. Right, and, and yeah. so you get all disoriented. Yeah. Well, in the, in the movie, one guy gets into it with another guy, and he shoves one of these things in the guy's mouth, and then he hides behind a wall. And you see what's left fall into the ground. And I'm like, Ugh. man, I've never seen that happen in real life. I don't know if that can happen in real life, but it looks super real. You know what I mean? And uh, that is okay because, you know, it's not real. Yeah. But to see that in real life would be just horrible. Mm. You know yes. what I mean? Ugh. And and traumatic. Yeah, that would just like, be. So, yeah, let's just keep it light with the with the Tiger King. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The end result was, oh, where the hell is Carol Baskin's husband? Dude, do you think she did it? Yes! She soaked his ass in sardine oil, right? She crazy. So, this... She's got the the eyes, bro. She's got the crazy eyes. I'm like, that dude is tiger droppings now. Like... Because he was straight up, he was about to divorce her. Yeah, she's like, I don't think so. Somebody's getting, but now fed. she got all his money and everything, and the dude's in jail for twenty two years, and she gets to carry on with her tiger prison. Well, his her new husband seems a bit whooped, if you ask me. Did you see him? Wearing a collar and stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. That's just disrespectful, dude. Let me tell you something. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be with a woman, right? Like if my wife goes to say, I want you to put a collar on me, drag me around. Like, What's wrong with you? What do you have some self respect for you? You know what I'm saying? It, He's like, I ain't that kind of guy. Again, I'm, I'm not judging. If that's your thing, you want to pretend to be right. a wild if that's cat. Your thing, all right. Do you, baby? But not in you know public. What I'm but keep it, keep it in the bedroom. That just this is weird to me, and I have a theory, and 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 at the risk of offending some people, people Uh-oh. that like hyper exotic animals. Okay. I don't mean, you know, like a damn, you know, like a parrot or something. Parrot. You know, maybe a yeah. tur- a big ass turtle. You know what I mean? Just, Tortoise. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. But yeah, if you like wild, giant, big cats like that, you're a little off, man. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna just say it. I out mean, long. it's dangerous. If you're, if you're wrestling with giant tigers, come on, son. 
And you know those yeah. those ligers are a real thing. Yeah. Which Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite, yeah. Has the best best of both worlds. Um <laughs> those are gigantic. I think they're over nine hundred pounds. They are? Yeah. Yeah. Tigers don't play around, dude. See how big it, damn tiger is? They Yes. Oh my gosh. And you notice like so he might have raised these things from cubs, but did you see when he uh th- that tiger grabbed his leg and was dragging Bruh. him off and he had to shoot his gun off to get him to scare him away? He almost got chewed up. The the tiger who knew him was like, "Yo, I don't know yep. what's on this dude's boot." Wasn't it um who are those two magician guys didn't he get attacked by Siegfried one of his Roy. tigers? Yeah. Don't be playing around with no damn tigers. Dude. Oh, and those were the quintessential lying tiger trainer dudes with the, right. the Bengal, the, yeah. the white tigers and all that. It's crazy. Dude, you can keep all that mm. shit. I don't want any any part of it. How about people? So speaking of, go ahead. Snake people. Those people that oh. have those giant boas and all that. I mean, they're just asking to get, like, suffocated to death. Have you seen, there's a show, I can't remember the name of it, but it has to do with, um, I'm in love with my exotic pet or whatever it was. And one dude Ugh. had, like, monitor lizards. Yeah. You know what monitor lizards are, right? Like, yeah. small cousins to the Komodo dragon. Yeah. And this thing is a living, damn... It's a dragon. Cesspool, let's dinosaur. Be, let's be serious. It's called a dragon for... And I saw... Remember Steve Irwin? The crocodile hunter? Yeah. He went yeah. to Madagascar and he was monkeying with these things, right? And he saw one and he's kind of looking at it. And they dribble this toxic saliva. It's got mm. like the bacteria in it that if it bites you, it's a wrap. All the Z packs you in might the as world. Well just cut that off. All the Z packs in the world ain't gonna help you, son. It's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they bite a deer and then or something big and then they follow it around, wait for it to die of Ugh. sepsis, and then they go in and go to work, you know? My point is Yum. he's watching this thing and it's looking at him, right? And it kind of mm-hmm. whips him whoosh, with his tail. And he's got like a big mark on his thigh. So what Ugh. what does he do? He goes back to monkeying with Runs it. Runs away. He starts messing with it again. Now it's chasing him up a tree. And he's kind of like pushing it with his boot, trying to get it off of him. Oh, and Lord. I was like, this dude is going to die at the hands of something with teeth or fangs or hot a, or a, a snake or something. Yeah. And sure enough, it was just a matter of time, bro. Just mm. a matter of time. The point was this TV show. There's people that have these pets, these lizards, wild tigers mm-hmm. or whatever. And then they snap one day and then boom, there you go. Ugh. I don't like big so, dogs for the same reason. Yeah. Like those giant pit bull looking dogs, the cane corsos and all that. I wouldn't mind having a big dog. John won't let me because, it, well, it probably wouldn't fit through the doggy door. But it is what it is. Right. So now I have four little ones that... that they're like transformers, right. so they'll grab each other's uh, tails and stuff, and they turn into a mega dog. So that's what I got to deal like with. Like damn Voltron, yes, <laughs> or whoever that is. Yeah, where his hands. <laughs> so look- I wanted to say, uh, right, right. I mean, it's just mega. Is it Megatron or Voltron? Megatron, ain't it? No, Megatron is like the bad transformer dude. Dang it! What's Ultron? Ultron is the guy from um, Voltron. Damn. Ultron is the guy from Getting the Avengers. Anyway, it's a giant dog that turns into little dogs that can fit through the doggy door. That's pretty badass, though. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say was, I've been in quarantine for two weeks now. Not quarantine, but I've been home, right. shelter in place, right. for two weeks now, and I feel like I've pretty much reached the dark side of Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, uh, we're talking B and C level movies. But every once in a while, languages? you find one that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm watching The Decline right now. It's in French. So I figured I'd brush up on my French. Mm-hmm. Parlez-vous français. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And watch this movie. It's about, it's about doomsday training. 
doomsday prepper training. Oh, wow. I'm only a few minutes into it, so, so far it's cool. But, so the good ones, I would consider those bonus tracks of Netflix. Okay. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of crap on Netflix, dude. Yeah. Yes. I like stand-up comedy, though. You ever watch stand-up? I do. I did. Uh, the last one I tried to watch, this guy was F-bomb every other word. And then he started um, talking about, like, uh, it had something to do with having kids, but it was so derogatory towards his kids. And I was like, I don't need to hear that. But the funny ones, like Kevin Hart. Okay. Funny. Who? Um, do you know who the guy was that you didn't like? It, his name was like his. The title was like the big guy or something. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Bert, Bert Kreischer, Bert. I don't remember his name. Yeah, I just yeah. remember the he, title. Did he have a shirt like off? The big guy. Uh, yeah. In the the title part, yeah, yeah. It, it had him with his shirt off, he, and I was like, nah. I watched like five minutes and then couldn't do it. Yeah, he eventually takes his shirt off. I'll not wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I will never do. So, just for the record, <laughs> you're welcome. Dang it! All those people you're were welcome. waiting. Yeah. Now you don't have to wait. Yeah. No mo. <laughs> but uh, we probably need to go. I want to try my coffee variety pack from Amazon because I'm trying to turn into a coffee connoisseur. Okay. How are you making? Which I'm told uh, this this coffee. K cups. Dude. I know. I know. Somebody told me I need to get a French press, yes. grind my own beans. So I'm going to find out from this variety pack, like, which kinds of coffee that I like. Right. And then I'll start getting the beans. I have I have Ashley, my little sister, left a coffee grinder at my house. And I'm like, thanks, Ashley. You're not getting it back. No. Sucker. So then I'll start, I'll start um, doing my own grinding and use my little... Um, I call it a cage cup because it's like a K cup, but it's just mesh. Gotcha. You put your own grounds. I, I, so I'm gonna, I, I'm leveling up. I had one of like, those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's the only way I can, because Keurig cups are, are just, it's just shit. I've never found one that was good. The only way that it was tolerable is if I filled it myself yeah. with my own. <laughs> coffee beans mm. they're all trash yeah. dude. the only it's not it's not strong enough for me now like i i put it on the strong setting now i got grounds from aldi so it's a french vanilla and i put it in the cage and i put it on strong and it's like it's decent but i think i want something a little stronger right. so i'm gonna try <laughs> these varieties right right See which ones are my favorite <laughs> and then start going to coffee like bean whole whole beans <laughs> <laughs> so if i look like this the next episode <laughs> it'll be because i tried some new coffee you're ODing on the coffee <laughs> one of my favorite comics yes theo vaughn has a bit about yeah and he's talking about keurig how keurig is is so weak he goes he goes i can drink four keurigs and go take a nap son right he goes <laughs> You could you could put Keurig in a baby bottle and feed it to a baby. Oh my god! He said, I, "I think what he said. He woke up. He drank five Keurigs, right? <laughs> uh, five K cups, and took yeah. a nap. And he woke up wearing a thong because it's not real coffee, right? <laughs> and, and a bra. <laughs> and the last one, he goes, "Oh my god, Mister Keurig, you know what you're selling, sir." He goes, "You and I both know." That your little coffee thing is just hot brown water, okay? <laughs> it's like, this isn't coffee, man. This isn't coffee. And it just made me laugh. I was like, I, I, I just never cared for the taste of it. I'm just not a huge Keurig fan. Yeah. Again, my own blend, great. Tolerable. Yeah. But a French press is the only yeah. way to go, dude. It's a whole process. You kind of get into it. And uh, that's how that's how I make it at the house, son. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of thinking in this quarantine, I'm going to start uh, uh, f developing my uh, connoisseurial yeah. skills and, for um, coffee. But. Do me a favor. 
Take that French press. Uh, not the French press. The uh, what, what, what flavor coffee did you say? Cherry? French vanilla. Yeah, throw that crap away. Maybe I will. You know. But I spent money on it. I feel so like I'll I'm attacking your it. coffee choices. You know, and I you apologize. totally are. Yeah, yeah. Don't apologize. And I'm being a, know, a straight up. I know what's up. Coffee snob, and um, you're a coffee douche. <laughs> you know. But French press is way better than me, dude. I got a whole system worked mm. out. Let me tell you something. Yeah. If I made you w- some of my Dunkin' Donuts regular blend, just Dunkin' Donuts mm-hmm. coffee, dude, in, in in my French press, knock your socks off. Mm. And I wouldn't look back, huh? Uh, no. I mean, if you, but you need time. And I think that's part of the whole appeal is is putting it all together. You're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. It's all I got right now yeah. is time. And I got one of those um <laughs> thermal. Insulated cups, which I'm not bringing anywhere yeah. near the new laptop, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll be good to go. What? What's a tiger run? Pounds? No, 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 wait, money. Could you buy one? Oh, he said the Cubs. That white one was five grand. So the older ones, probably female or more expensive. I don't know, <sighs> dude. And your boy was using well, thanks. old meat to make those pizza that they were selling. <laughs> Walmart special, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah. What a character. Yeah, he was very animated, very uh, flamboyant, very uh, energetic. Like in a way, I liked that. But then when he started to go a little bit on the deeper end, yeah. I was like, okay, okay, you need to calm down a little. Yeah. Quit, quit taking the meth. Simmer down. We better we wrap it up. All right, go check your biscuits. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you know what I mean. Your dog biscuits. And um, That's awesome. All right, so yeah. episode 76 and uh 76. 76 Tiger King. Is. Free the Tiger King. Yeah. No, I don't he should be in jail, but so should the other people. Yeah, yeah. I I think Cage Jeff and Allen and Carol. And Carol, she's, you know. She's going to rot in hell. Hell hell stop. H E double. Damn it. H-E double hockey sticks. There you go. Okay, cool. 76. Dumb. Oif, 76. Yes. In the books. Pow. Tiger King. Email us. <laughs> if you disagree, tell us. There you go. Off your flosser yeah. at gmail.com. And if you haven't watched it, Boom. get your lives together. What else are you doing? Exactly. Yeah. Make sure the Nothing. kids are in the hallway or, you know, outside oh, playing yeah, around. Yeah, you don't want them to watch The them. language is a little bit too crazy. <laughs> And the subject matter, to be well, honest, is, is a little is a little heavy. It should be Tiger King after dark. Put them kiddos to bed and then pop in the not, yeah. not flicks, Netflix. It seems Nightflix. like every episode was crazier than the one before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. See, you're dragging me back in, Carlos. Unbelievable. I okay. got to go check my biscuits. Go check your biscuits. That's hilarious. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay Woo! healthy. Yeah. Sandy, last words. Oh, go floss yourselves. Boom. You got time. That's it. Here we go. Go floss yourselves, guys. Take care. God bless. Mm. Be good. Tiger King. Audi. <laughs> Tiger King. All right. <laughs>